idea of who he is and what he's about to say. Uh, right, so he's a prominent uh, uh, guy who made a nice documentary exposing child pedophilia. Right, he's he's a hedge fund guy, uh, whatever his his company is called. He's on uh, MSCNBC talking about Wall Street, talking about Tesla stocks. Right, he's an outstanding guy. Right, now I'm sure everybody's everybody's a bit, you know, has some degree of uh, of uh, you know skeletons in their closet, but nonetheless, he's a good guy. So let's look at the. Um, we're going to look at the, the the thing in a second, but I want you. This is Schoenberg, right? So this is the guy. This is uh, perpetrator number one, right? Now, again, for me, it's uh, slightly personal because this this uh, fucker has uh, also come after this reporter for merely uh, uh, reporting, you know, reporting stuff. Uh, so here's what he says about me right? in one of his gang stalking nonsense. The, the 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 play here is what they do is they attack you, instigate you, and then turn it around to say that you're, you're attacking him and stalking him. I have now, I guess, 11 videos uh, and, uh, I don't know, maybe 100 emails of him attacking me. So I got all that stuff. Right? So he puts, he puts this out. This is uh, Schoenberger attacking me. Marcus Conti, Goodwin, I, that's a handle I used to use in the 90s. A 55-year-old Brooklyn psychopath thinks it's okay to stalk my 19-year-old son and has emailed me repeatedly telling me to dig up my and fuck my dead mother. Marcus is a close associate with Manuel Chavez. <laughs> right, so he's accusing me of um, being, a, firstly, being a psychopath. Uh, secondly, uh, is, uh, what else is he saying here? Is uh, stalking his 19-year-old son, right? So it's, it's delusional insanity right and um as i said we have one to about 11 he he has made 11 attack videos that i can count there's probably more but i have 11 of them and i have also his uh the emails where he's attacked me so uh so let's 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 look at listen to one you can hear his voice so this is his this is his face and now we'll hear his voice uh Marcus, the felon, take a good close look at Marcus, the felon, Conti. Now, you'd like to pretend that he's a, he's a truth guy. You can see truth in the background, but you also see in the foreground, he wants your Patreon, he wants your PayPal, he's selling bumper stickers on ebay this guy's a hustler same guy who in the 90s was trying to convince um naive investors to uh, put their money into to his scam all right and it is a scam but let's look at the other side and there is a darker side to marcus conti too and here we go okay this is marcus conti's um so you get you get a gist of what he's doing, right? He's he's what he's. I I did nothing to, um, nothing to to him to deserve a equal but opposite uh, reaction. So so again, this is what the guy does, right? The guy's a scumbag. The guy is online twenty four hours, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, slandering everybody, and trying to create sides, right? He's, uh, for whatever reason, it's not, it's who even knows what the reason is, but he, nonetheless, he's a psychopath. And these are, these are his colleagues we have, um, who's named in this lawsuit that I'm going to read in a second, Dean Fagira. This is uh, Titus Frost, who will basically repeat anything that Schoenberger tells him. This is the team. This is a younger version of uh, Schoenberger, Parody Lives. That account has since been... Uh, uh, taken down from YouTube for harassment and stalking. All his Twitter accounts are gone. Uh, this is uh, Dave Acton, Combat. That's There's no more videos there either. He's out of business. And Titus Frost is still yapping his trap, uh, supporting these two guys in light of all of the evidence. Here's another one. This is uh, Steve Outram, who I interviewed on this channel, and I had asked him about the LARPing uh, and what it means and what it is. And it, he seemed to have taken a very defensive 
position defending Dave Acton, not discussing the insanely obvious hits uh, that uh, Schoenberger was making on everybody else. And now he seems to be uh, actively defending defending, uh, and, and adding his name to the lawsuit with Dave Acton against um, uh, uh, Jason Goodman. So he's, he's clearly a co-conspirator. He's either, as I've said before, the, the most willful idiot you've ever s seen, or he's just, he just doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's looking at. That's hard to believe. I think that he is very calculated and very much a part of this, uh, uh, this crew. Um, that's throwing, you know, that's throwing cover for Schoenberger 